everybody, welcome back. This is Cyberclone Alpha, or I'll begin to call myself just Alpha from now on to make it easier for you all to remember the channel name. Anyway, so I've been away for a little bit, which means I didn't get a video up last week, sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about that. But it does also mean that I have picked up some very, very nice stuff while I've been away. Not the least of which is this backpack. Now, I was able to pick this up at a Salvo's, which, for those of you in the US, it's sort of like a Goodwill, but different brand. That doesn't mean anything when thrifting, but still. No, it's got Molly everywhere, on the front, on the sides, it's got a spot for patches, and it is absolutely massive. It has stuff in it. has it around, it's got webbing everywhere, it's got Velcro for patches, it has side panels for with more Velcro on it, and more Molly on the bottom for attaching whatever I feel like. Let's flip it back over. Inside of a few things I picked up over in, well, where I was. Anyway, I'll move this out of the way so you guys can see a bit better. Now, the first thing I got, which I am pretty excited about, is this. For those of you that don't know, this is the Nerf Chrono Barrel. And it is quite a nice barrel. Uh, it's getting okay readings, and if I grab a blaster to test it on, then I should be able to show you. So it connects onto any standard Nerf barrel. It's not. It won't detect half darts, sadly. But I got it for five bucks. And normally I won't mention the prices, but when you get something this good for this cheap. I may as well mention it. Anyways, so up here there is a power switch and you can turn it on to count down, to count up, so say you want to see how much of an average your blaster fires across and it all shows it just here. don't know if you guys can see that, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but basically what it'll do is mean it means I can sort of tell where my builds fire, at least for my flywheel builds. This gets around the average FPS like according to proper chronographs. It's pretty accurate and I'll just try and show you here. So I'll chamber dot, fire it and fire it in the backpack so it will come up. And it says 67.9 which is pretty standard. This is not a stock Australian blaster, this is an almost stock American blaster. No upgrades except swapped out the slide because of coloration and took out the locks. No power upgrades whatsoever, not even an AR removal. That one was 65, 64, 68. So it seems to be around. Oh, and then we get a really good one. It was 77. I think that was a fresh dart. Seems to average, and another fresh start, 76, and a jam, but it uh, doesn't just stop there. We can get out a pistol blaster, which I put in here, the old painted one. There's a reason I don't do much cosmetic modding, I'm not very good at it. I may start to get, try and get good at it, but for now, no. Um, anyway, we'll uh, reset it. And, um test this one. This one has nothing done to it except an air restrictor removal because it didn't have enough brass to brass it yet, so I'll just fire it through. And yeah, they got 42.5. That is a stock Australian blaster, and sadly, not very good. Anyway, moving on from the modulus chrono barrel, which is amazing. If you see one for five bucks, you may as well go and grab it. I picked up one of these. Now, Nothing much impressive about this except it has a storage spot. Usually they tell you to put darts in there, but uh, I'm a modder, I don't have much need for loose darts. If you're running um, something that uses a revolver, maybe. Unless it's holding extra magazines, I have no need for that. However, it does extend, which is okay, that's not too exciting. A lot of stocks do that. But since it has such a big space inside, no, it doesn't look that big on camera, but it it's deep enough that I can fit most lipos in there as well as I've cut it out. I can fit in even the bigger lipos, um, if with some modification, of course. 
Uh, there's some cutting that'll need to be done, but that should be easy enough. And it will mean that I should have an easy enough time making myself a nice cheap battery stock. Battery stock, sorry. And it just will go onto any blaster as usual. And yeah, it works great. It's nice and comfy and it's great. Now, the last item, which I am super excited about, as some of you may know, when I did my Demolisher Bunker Buster review, firing, whatever, I had it strapped to double A's. Not a good practice. Not even remotely. Don't do it. Unless you're testing it, don't do it. Thankfully I could justify that and say I was testing it, because every shot is a test to see if your blast is built well. Did the wiring well, did not do battery choice well. Since then, I've acquired this. The GT Power C60 Dual Power AC DC 11 volt to 18 volt uh, and wiper charger. It will support anywhere from 1 to 6 cells, which is great because I'll probably not be using a 1 cell, those are not enough to power even. Mm, yeah, not even stock blasters are small enough that they require 1S. Um, mostly 2S and 3S, although if I eventually upgrade to uh, brushless, I will need more than that. So it's a very nice charger. As you can see, it's even got the guys I got it from this thing, Ultimate Hobbies. They were really nice, those guys. Anyway, really nice charger, and I can't wait to be using lipos with it. And also, uh, another reason I did this video. In the next few weeks, we should be seeing some more videos, possibly on a fire strike. I have yet to decide, but you should also be seeing some more flywheel based videos, which you don't see much of, and there is a few reasons for that. And I'm thinking about a new, few new series, as well as we have our first modded blaster of the month, first one that hasn't been selected by me. Coming up soon, someone sent in a photo, and since it's the only one so far, and it actually is quite a nice mod, it will be going into the video. If you would like to see your blaster featured in any of these videos, please send them in, and it doesn't even have to be your blaster. If you just see a blaster you like while browsing the internet, uh, send it in. Make sure you specify whether it's your blaster or not. Tell me all the mods that's been done to it. Tell me everything. And that means that we could get the best quality video possible. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later.